Russia, Ukraine, and the United States are all in a controversy. Now, everyone's gonna tell you, ah, you're never gonna see this, this isn't gonna happen, don't worry. But I wanna explain what's going on right now because this is a major disaster. But let's, let's back things up a little bit, okay? Because Russian President Vladimir Putin said on Sunday, this was yesterday, June 5th, he said that Western long-range missiles, or the missile systems, will be the cause of Moscow hitting objects that they haven't struck yet. This was, this was his statement. Now, this was a warning that President Biden received even before he agreed to send long-range missiles to Ukraine. And before Biden agreed to this, to send these long-range missiles, which actually go about 50 miles, first he was able to get uh, the Ukrainian President Zelensky to agree that Ukraine would not use these missiles to attack Russia on Russian territory. That was the key. They would not use it to attack Russia on Russian territory. However, according to recent reports, if Russia continues to hit Kyiv with airstrikes, which they did just yesterday, they continue to do this, then, according to reports, Ukraine would use any countermeasures possible in order to get this, uh, these airstrikes to stop. So right now, the long-range missile system could be a huge issue for us here in the United States because we've been warned multiple times that if you, we continue to uh, pretty much butt into uh, the war between Russia and Ukraine, then we will be you know, dealt with. Now, however this is gonna happen, honestly, we don't know. But, honestly, did, did we never see this coming, right? We're gonna give Ukraine, who's being uh, heavily you know, impacted by Russia, we're gonna give them a long range missile system and expect them not to use it to its fullest capacity, right? That's odd. But if you think that's bad, guess what else is being reported? There are reports that are indicating that Belarus, who's one of Russia's allies, they've started to put mines bordering Ukraine. They're placing mines in forests, uh, bypass roads, and even bridges. And according to multiple Ukrainian news agencies, this has been going on for a little while. They also reported that tanks within Belarus have been removed from storage bases and could easily be transferred to Russian military. But what's scary about all this is that the US intel has been right almost all along. It's been very close. We knew that Russia was going to invade Ukraine even before it happened. Even though Russia said they were not gonna do that, it was just a special military operation. Well, so when a country's telling us, no, we didn't put mines there. No, we aren't taking stuff from Ukraine. No, we didn't kill you know, innocent people. We can see that yes, this is actually happening. But again, we saw this coming. We knew it was gonna happen. We knew this was gonna happen. And it was also recently discovered that Belarus was planning to hold military training near the border of Ukraine. That's one of the things that the US discovered. And it was just last week that Belarus stated that they would be uh, holding uh, military training near the border, but they'd also be extending this. They'd be extending their military exercises. Isn't this exactly what we heard with Russia? That they were gonna do a special military operation and then they invaded? Doesn't this seem odd? And so now, there are reports that indicate that Russia is actually running out of troops and equipment, and they're actually turning to one of their allies for a little bit of help. Okay. But again, did we not see this coming? Every time the U.S. helps with the issues between Russia and Ukraine, something else pops up. There's another issue. Somebody else is getting involved. Guess what? If this wasn't bad enough, here's where things are really going to hurt the entire world. Just a couple of weeks ago, there were many satellite images, a lot of satellite images, that showed Russia stealing grain from Ukraine. And just this morning, the US Secretary Antony Blinken, he stated that these reports are credible. His exact words were this, and I quote, there are credible reports that Russia is pilfering Ukraine's grain 
exports to sell for its own profit. He also added this, and I quote, now Russia is hoarding its food exports as well. So Russia is not just stealing grain from Ukraine. They've been blocking grain from or Ukrainian grain from being exported uh, out of the Black Sea. This has been going on for quite some time. Now Russia is hoarding their food exports as well, which means the food shortage is only going to get worse. This is what we're hearing. But again, did, did we not see this coming? And this is what's so frustrating about uh, you know us here in the United States is we're being told certain things from our you know, government leaders. And I'm not saying they're, they're always wrong. I'm not saying they're 100% correct either. But what we're being told is everything's okay. Everything's okay. We're being told that, don't worry, gas prices are going to come down because of the, the OPEC Plus deal, right? Where they're going to, you know, uh, what, get another 400 or 240,000 barrels per day or something like that. Comes out about 15 million barrels over the course of the, the two months, over July and August, right? But we're being told here in the U.S. that, don't worry, gas prices are going to go down. Well, they're not going to go down in June. We're not seeing that. Gas prices today are, what, $4.86 per gallon nationally as an average here in the U.S.? Things aren't looking better. But again, did, did we see something different? Right? And so that's why I bring this up. This Russia, Ukraine, and now the United States uh, controversy, it's only getting worse. The United States is being impacted heavily. Now, uh, you know, other people in other countries can say, well, you know, us in Europe, we're being impacted. You know, us in, you know, South America, we're being impacted. And I bet everybody is. But again, I'm only seeing it from the perspective of somebody here in the United States, right? I'm reading the reports of what's coming out of Ukraine, what's coming out of Russia, uh, what's going on in Europe, right? Over in different countries, I'm seeing those. But again, did we not see this coming? We saw these coming, we saw the writing on the wall, but yet we were being told, don't worry, everything's okay. Everything's gonna be just fine. But here's what you need to keep in mind. It's not. We are seeing these shortages. I remember uh, a few days ago, I got a couple emails from people, uh, or actually over the weekend, really, uh, a couple emails from people that were saying that, yes, they are seeing food shortages. They're seeing prices increase. They're seeing limits placed on products that they, they haven't seen since March of 2020 when we were going through the whole pandemic or the start of it, right? And so they're saying these things are starting to come back. And it's looking somewhat scary that, you know, I don't know if we prepared. Because if you remember back in March of 2020, most people were rushing out to the stores, buying anything and everything that they could, just because they didn't know, was there going to be more shipments? Were they going to be locked in their house for the next two weeks? We didn't know. And again, right now, we don't really know what's going to happen. So we'll see what happens moving forward. But again, I'm telling you this because, you know, did, did we not see this coming? We did. We were told different. And that's what's so frustrating about all this is that right now this, you, this uh, issue between Russia and Ukraine, which now has the United States involved, it's only getting bigger, it's only getting worse. So we'll see what happens there. But as always, as I know more, I promise, I'll come back on and share all latest news and updates again. Just wanna thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.